Hello and welcome to the Tracing TV video. You join us today looking at the all new um, Europhoenix class 37 slash 7. This is from DTG and it's just literally come out. So what we're going to do, we're going to take a quick drive on a couple of the timetable workings. We're going to do um, 5Q, 23 and um, yard prep and then we're also going to do the um, small part of the working as well. So we're going to prepare, couple up and then we'll, we'll do a bit of driving on top of that. Uh, just having a quick look around this, it's looking rather cool. Um, I will say, it does the numbers does? No, the numbers are right now. They sort themselves out. They're a little bit lower resonant at a distance, but not a problem. It's all sorted. So, <clears throat> one thing is, I'm glad they're done with is this livery rather than the newer blue uh, livery that 800 has. So that's got a big tick for myself. Not for sure if it looks a bit too dark on top of the, on some of the greys, but. It's hard to tell, maybe with the lighting sort of, hang on, if you go to the other side, it's hard to tell. It does look a little bit dark. It does look good though. So it comes with also the, um, the Dell and the Coupler, which is utilising uh, of coupling up to the 375 units, uh, enables to be dragging them around. So you can actually raise the coupler and lower it. So it's in the right position for when you want to uh, hook up. Not really sure if you'll get the hoses and stuff like that, the brakes and stuff, but we'll soon find out if they come on when we couple up. I just have a look at the visuals in, in general. Um, data panel could have been done a little bit better. It's a little bit on the lower size compared to some of the other decals, um, compared to the numbers and like the jacking point uh, markers there. Um, the main livery itself is in a decent uh, state. It's uh, not low res or anything like that at all. It's very nicely done. One thing with the writing is if you stand over it, it looks like it's got an outline. But when you get up close, the outline seems to disappear. I don't know if it's just the way the light's hitting it. It's like a, like a sheen to it. You can actually see when you change, when the light hits it, you better look like a different color, so maybe that's intentional. Otherwise, it looks cool. It's nice to have another um, a, a different aspect to the game. I suppose like, like another aspect to uh, what could be done on the uh, railway operating terms um, in here. Comes with ten services in the timetable and three scenarios as well, and of course the delivery on top of that. So I'm just going to set our track work because we need to obviously keep away from the main line. I'm just going to send us into a yard out of the way. We need to come down and back into a uh, couple up with this over here. Right. So first of all, I'm just going to... So if you can see on the cab, you've got this little unit on here. This tells you to do with like, the braking and obviously safety systems that are isolated and that. So if you... I'll try and get the... there. If you look at the top right-hand corner, you see this little... Where my mouse is hovering over that isolation watch that when I take it off and watch it over on the left hand side where that red light is on the uh, little box so that is off but we need to put the key in as well so we need to pull this line now you can see it's gone off we now obviously put all the uh, cab isol uh, on isolation stuff on change ends and all that so that goes off with that. Now I believe as well these light up different differences of braking. It's like states as well, so we need to keep an eye on that. So we need to put the key in. There we go. Cancel that. Need some headlights on as well. Instrument lights on and route indicator. So windows open for some fresh. Sounds, however, are the same ones we've seen, so there are no new sounds from what I can make out. <clears throat> uh, GSMR doesn't work either, sadly. Um, it'd be nice we've seen the one from Cross City, even with its sort of like minimal functionality. But uh, there must be a reason why that hasn't been added in. So, sadly, that's uh, not there. <coughs> Excuse me. Right. So that hasn't done anything yet. Um, but I am led to believe that that should light up when you go through different braking states. It hasn't seemed to have done that. 
Anyway, we shall press on. So on top of this, this is like one of three releases um, that have come today. So you've also got um, the Ice Pride livery and also the SD70 Ace BNSF, I think I'll get that right. So there's three different uh, packs that have come out, all for each of the base routes basically. To be fair, it might not actually work that until we have pulled up to the unit, because that, I'm not sure if if that's something to do with the other unit behind, so it's telling you what step the braking's in on the uh, 375, so that might come into play later on. I, I have seen it working, <laughs> so we'll keep an eye on that. Right, let's change ends. Oh, we don't want that one key. At least it doesn't go off straight away this now. I think on the T's value one it used to go off right away as soon as you got in the train. And turned all that on. Right. So it's telling me that the safety system is isolated even though I've actually unisolated it. Weird. I, uh, I've definitely taken that off so I don't know why that's still lit up. Potentially a glitch there maybe. Right, everything is set. Uh, we need some lights. So I'm just going to check our track to make sure we've got everything set, which we haven't just yet. We need to change that set of points there. And then we are going into that line there to pick up the middle unit. Something I think I haven't uh, done either. <laughs> that I bet I've done something that doesn't like now I'm going to go back into the other capital and just check something here right, it wasn't shut down that's why I've put it into emergency Try again. There we go. Always make sure you put it in shutdown. <laughs> Otherwise, it won't um, allow you to drive, basically. Yeah, it like layers onto the original um, timetable as well, so it's just add an extra change into the path. Which is cool. Nice that they keep adding more to the same timetable rather than making up a fresh timetable. So that would be quite a job. There must be plenty of room to fit these in. Plenty of space to play with.
I'm looking in there thinking, where's the third unit? But the other one must be on the other side. It's on the other side of the um, the building. <laughs> I think it definitely did show three on the map. You can see it's there. It's hiding. We made a ghost train. Now we need to stop this thing shy of the actual unit. We have to raise the coupler. No, it's already raised itself. That wasn't. I left that down. So it must know when it's going near another unit to uh, sort itself out, basically. Right, let's, uh, let's watch the goodness happen. Oh, there we go. It, it stopped for a second and thought about what it was doing. Uh, does it have any cables? I don't see no cables, sadly. Just a show. Try and get underneath there, just have a look. Never mind. Yeah, it should have a cable, um, I believe, going around and to the top of, I think, like... The Delna. Basically, from the 37, it has like a pipe that it connects through. Up, I think it's either above or below, and that's obviously to do with the braking itself. Ah, right, so you now see that it's actually it's lit up, so. Going through the different brake systems there, look. Out, not whack it into full. Get excited then. Right, so that's everything shut down this end. So, EC operational. That's telling me that that unit's operational, basically, it's got power, I think. So, I'm going to double check, because this should have some tail lights on, really. Either a tail light or a tail lamp. I mean, my guess it really would be a tail lamp being dragged. But no, it's got tail lights on, so we have actually got some lights on, so I'll, we'll go with that. I'm going to go in there if it's quicker. Uh, right. All right. Let's get this end set back up. Key in. Weirdly, though, it's not stable in the uh, safety isolation uh, one. Right. So we need to just ensure that we've got the right track set here, which uh, we didn't we do now we're down there I like that it's, uh, it lights up when it comes through the brake system
was going to get a screenshot, but unfortunately there's a little blip mark on the uh, back of the depot there. And this side's wrong side for the sun, so we're supposed to do it on the next part of the, uh, the drive. It's not a problem. That was quite cool, was that? We don't actually see very much of this in TS Classic, and we do have the 37 in TS Classic. And we've got the 375, but I've never really seen many, if any, scenarios such as this, so it's cool to be able to do it on here. Make sure we don't go through the buffers. So basically, we're just getting ourselves positioned to where we need to be. Bit of shunting. Need to wait here for a minute, so I'm going to whack into reverse, not into off. Presuming we're going to be going to the top one of these two lines up here. Looks like it, the blue line set there. I'll just give it a second just while it decides what it wants to do. Javelin. Nice and busy, anyway. That's what I like. So numbers. You know what it is? It's something with the, with this game is when you like looking at a distance, everything sort of goes blurry, like the render distance or something. Right, where are we going? I don't know. We're going to that one. So we need to we're reversing back, going across. We need to set this set point. So it needs to be going. There we go. So well, that's set. So is that. Oh my lord. Another one. <laughs> that's based. Rogs are up and busy in force around this area today. The brakes haven't come off. It takes some time to get the brakes off, I must say. Just be cautious with them. Thankfully, the uh, unit doesn't power up while you're uh, taking power. <laughs> Although it did seem to make a noise when it was braking. I'm guessing really it should have had a tail lamp rather than its lights.
I need to make sure I don't go through this uh, signal. It's doing a noise when you're braking. I, I'm guessing it probably shouldn't really do that. It does, so. <laughs> that is that. So we're waiting here for a minute, so I'm not sure what we're waiting here for. Whether it's the end of the run or we need to go somewhere else. My guess is we'll probably that that'll be it for this drive. Cool. I mean, this in, it's, there's another thing as well. This this could actually maybe one day feature it in other packs. You might even be able to get this drag in other trains down the line. Who knows? You could very well make use of this again. Right, what are we doing now? Uncouple. Okay. I'll do that. That's a good question. Ah, there we go. That is how we do that. Put the tail lights on. They're on. Very faint, but they are on. Right, so we're going to stop in Gillingham Depot side in 10, which is where we are already set. Oh, that's good. It does take a while for them brakes to come off. Christ. It virtually dumps them on. Now, my guessing is we're going to be going around, running around, basically, to the other end. Ready to go back the opposite way. Shut this cab down for a second. A lot of changing of cabs on this, but that is to be expected. But we shouldn't see them. Uh, take that out. Yeah. It's all locked in here. I mean, every single train that's in the game on this route has gone past. I need to pick up the branding for these as well. Keep forgetting to do it.
Brakes are slowly releasing. Make sure we've got the right track set. Because we don't. <laughs> But it would be nice if they revisited the sounds of the 37 in general. Definitely don't think they're the best. Been for a wash. Cat's been for a wash as well. <laughs> We're stopping by this signal. Waiting again. I definitely got my lights on. A little very dim. Yeah, I do. Uh, they're fairly dim. The two, the two um, headlights at the top, not the not the centre high beam. The actual marker lights are fairly dim compared to the actual headlight. I'm pretty certain they probably wouldn't be that dim in real life. Doing the old wait for a minute. See what's happening. I think I might have pushed this um, unit back a bit too far, to be honest, as well. I have to shunt it back a little bit before we stop. Right, we are. Oh, well, we're going over there, apparently. Right, okay, the route has been set. So we're going on to the main, then we'll come back in. No, we can't go yet because there's a training system. That's great. What's coming our way? No, there's no beer, uh, unit. Like that you see the reflection of the uh, the other uh, unit. Here. Did I put my tail lights on? Check. I did. They're very low. They're very dim. Why are the lights so dim? They don't even look like they're on. Oh, it's coming now. Once the uh, the barriers have gone down over there, I can see they've gone down. 
once we get the road if there's nothing else coming behind us hopefully we can go now we are we have got the road got the ground signal I think what we'll do as well, actually, to be fair, I've done do the other drive on top of the video, but because it's taken us longer than what the actual time says, we'll probably do the drive as a separate video, so we'll come back to this quite soon on. We've got a few bits and pieces to go through with TSW in, the, in terms of our videos, so we've got this, we've got uh, Nidatol Bar will be coming out as well later in the week, so we're going to be doing that as well, so that probably will be the next video, and then we'll probably then come back to this. So keeps a, a good level stream of videos coming. At least this gives you an idea of what this sort of pack is about. I do like this idea though, you've got to shunt around and get the train ready before you go, that's quite cool. Like deja vu doing all this. Right, there we go, that's all struck down. Have we got something coming towards us again? Well, we might have to actually, to be fair, tab in our train section in the head. So there's something coming. Where is it though? Definitely something coming from some of that. We're actually waiting for that. That's a long way. Apparently we're waiting for it. That's really annoying. I have to sit there and wait for that. <clears throat> it's not really a 24 to 25 minute drive like it, like it says, because you've got to sit here and do a lot of waiting around. We wouldn't have to wait for this. We'd probably be coupled up by now, and that would be that. But we'll have to wait for whatever it is that's going around here, which is stumbling along like a javelin. Right, it's taking a long time. You know, to end up with something coming the other way as well. No, there's not. We shall cut scene through. So we'd have to sit there and wait. Right, so the unit should be coming past us there any second now.
Got some fancy artwork on the side of that one. I've just I have noticed on my map that there's another unit behind it, so I don't know if we're gonna have to wait for that or not. It was literally just behind it. Again, I'm not overly sure. That might be a freight, to be honest. Another look. Unless it gives us the road before this. Oh, what? <laughs> really? We literally had everything here. This is absolutely crazy. We have got the road. Right. I didn't expect to see the kettle. <laughs> I also say I could have got that collectible. That's annoying. Hopefully it's going to allow me to push this back a little bit. For like activating the stop task. Because we're not clear of the signal. I never sort of really realised. So the couple hasn't raised itself. I'm going to push this back. Because we're not clear. Oh well, it's ended. <laughs> anyway, there we go. So that's that. So what we'll do is um, we'll do that for now on this video. We'll go back in again and we will feature the next part of that drive as the next video of this pack um, pretty soon. It won't be that far on down the line, maybe within the week. But we'll have Nidal Barn as our next video for TSW anyway so that will be the next exciting thing to have a look at which I'm looking forward to very much for this pack link is in the description below as usual do go take a look if it's something that uh, takes your eye uh, again it's another cool little aspect to the sim and it adds something else to it as well which is really good so it gets a thumbs up in me in my eyes um, a couple of little things that I've found potentially a little bit of a glitch but for the most part it works and it's quite cool so on that note yeah um Massive thanks, cheers for watching, don't forget like, share, subscribe, hit your notification bell, um, catch you on Twitch, on twitch.tv, forward slash trainsim underscore TV on a Friday and Sunday evening. Other than that, thank you very much for watching, take care and we'll see you again very soon, bye for now.